LOCAL GAS STATION CLERK IS GIVING ROBBERS A REASON TO THINK TWICE BEFORE BREAKING THE LAW. A MAN TRIED TO SURPRISE A LOCAL CLERK, BUT IT WAS THE SUSPECT WHO WOUND UP SURPRISED. ELIZABETH ALEX HAS THE STORY. AARON JACOBS IS USUALLY THE ONE GREETING CUSTOMERS AT THE BP GAS STATION, BUT TODAY HE WAS ON THE RECEIVING END OF WELL WISHES. CUSTOMERS AND NEIGHBORS WANTED TO MAKE SURE HE WAS OKAY. JACOBS WAS WORKING BEHIND THE COUNTER LAST NIGHT WHEN TWO MEN CAME IN. HE SAYS ONE OF THEM SAID HE NEEDED BEER, THEN BEGAN MUMBLING AND APPROACHED THE COUNTER. THEN STARTED TO MOVE MY DIRECTION, WHICH I DIDN'T ACTUALLY REALLY NOTICE till I KIND OF TURNED AROUND AND HE WAS STANDING RIGHT BEHIND ME. And, uh, and then that's when I saw a 12-inch blade coming my way, and uh, I didn't know what his intentions were. I wasn't about to ask. Despite having a knife, the would-be attacker soon found out the hard way he had picked one of the worst possible targets. Jacobs is a former Marine combat instructor and a black belt in karate with more than 25 years of training. Fortunately, uh, I was able to knock the knife out of his hand and uh, get him subdue him in an arm, arm bar submission, and, in which I ran him face first into the rack over there. Jacobs got a few cuts during the scuffle, but that wasn't what he was concerned about. The store was in pretty bad shape afterwards. The whole the cigar rack got knocked over, which I was worried about that during the time. <laughs> and then the chips rack exploded. I'm thinking, oh no, not the chips rack. Looking back at the surveillance video, Jacob says he considers the incident a fluke and hopes it doesn't signal a trend in what has been an otherwise peaceful neighborhood. Elizabeth Alex, NBC Action News. A black belt and a combat trainer? Jacobs did shove the man out the door and police still haven't caught him because he ran off. This happened right near 69 Highway and 87th Street. If you recognize a suspect, you're asked to call the tips hotline.